Hello, this is Eric with Data Store. Thank you for joining the second of four of the Quick Start videos. Uh, today we're going to install the standalone tape drive. We'll assume you have attached the tape drive to the server, attached the cable, and powered it on, uh, according to quantum best practices. What we need to confirm in this video is that the Microsoft driver has been installed for the tape drive. We can do that through the software and then we'll also confirm that you're running the 9.0 build of the software which has the support for standalone tape drives. Finally, we're going to make use of barcode labels and attach them, apply them to the tape cartridges if they came, if the tapes came with barcode labels. The software wants to record a volume label for each tape and we can use the barcode label information for that if it's available. If it isn't, then no trouble. We can simply define our own volume labels in the software. Let's click on the tape storage node in the left pane and we'll configure tape devices. I have set this uh, test machine to indicate that there may be an outdated tape driver installed on this system from a prior tape drive or tape auto loader so that we can work through uh, removing that. So in addition to the LTO tape drive for our correct standalone tape drive, we have an old uh, remnant here that we're going to go ahead and remove. So we highlight that tape drive and we click properties. We'll go to the driver tab and uninstall. Then we'll click to scan again. Let's repeat that process for the quantum superloader that's no longer present. So now we see our standalone tape drive listed. Let's go ahead and check which driver is installed. We'll highlight the LTO tape drive and select properties. We'll go to the driver tab. For driver provider, we want to see Microsoft listed here. We're going to go ahead and update this driver in this case by clicking the Update Driver button. We'll browse the computer for the driver and then we're going to select Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. We're going to uncheck the box to show compatible hardware and click LTO and then in the Model dialog box we'll select LTO Tape Drive click Next. We'll click Close and we'll verify we see Microsoft as the driver provider. We're going to select that and click to configure tape devices. Now we see that we have configured the LTO tape drive for use with Quantum Data Store Shield. So we'll finish our wizard and we see our LTO tape drive in the left hand pane. Go ahead and affix the barcode labels to the tapes and set them aside. Next up, we're going to configure the software to backup to disks so that we can configure the software to vault to tape. 